Hi, welcome to our vlog today. Uh, it's Mike James here from Joy Skills Online, and uh, we just it's great to have you with us. Thank you for giving us this ten minutes today. We're going to do something different. Uh, we're going to show you that actually this is something that we do. There's my right ear there. Um, we this is something we recorded earlier, and so rather than you can see this comes what we do here just comes from the outflow of our lives, and I think that's that's helpful for you to see um, the kind of thing that that we do. So uh, we're going to take you into an exercise in the same way that the folks who did it this morning um, didn't know what was coming. And then um, we, I'll, give, I'll, I'll stay on screen for a couple of minutes until we get into some prayer. And then it will be very similar to what you're used to doing. And I hope you find that helpful. And then I'll be back at the end with a little debrief, uh, a little prayer. And uh, where we will see where we go from there. So here I am. This is with my team. There's about 10 of us. Um, some of us paid workers, some of us not, and uh, wonderful people at St Mary's, so here we go. What, what do you think that is, guys? Any guesses? There's no prizes for right or wrong, so what there's do no you shaming think in this. As, Give as me some ideas. What, what do you think? What is this? What's a going? broken mirror. Anyone else? Crazy paving. Crazy paving. I don't Anyone else? Running stream. A running stream. Well, we'll come back to, to what it is. So, um, my, I, I just think about us this morning. Um, two verses and we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-passing power is from God and not from us we're hard pressed on every side but not crushed perplexed but not in despair we always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body and often um, we read the first bit we are jars of clay but the interesting thing is you can hear we the carry the death so that the life may be seen. <laughs> the point the point isn't the jar that we often think of, but it's actually that the life um, may be seen, and the um, thing the two things that come to mind for me at the minute are: but now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know even as I also am known. That sense of like. With all that's going on, I think this is this is the first time in English cultural history that I know of that actually the English don't think we can sort all the problems out. Um, that actually there is there is a space for humility for us as a culture. Um, whether we embrace that is a slightly different thing. But actually, as a culture, we can't fix the whole of the virus. Although I am being asked to get a vaccine today, so. Um, is really interesting um, but then face to face and um, and I want us to do something that, that brings those because for, for some of us we we we're we're in the tired and perplexed and, perplexed and exhausted part and some of us are more it's that cognitive or we we can't quite see so what was that that was part of a ballerina it was a ballerina mosaic and the part that you saw was the bottom and I think we that for me is the image actually, you know, we don't see the whole picture um, and we see a part. And when we see a part, some people get really frustrated with the question, like the beginning, I don't know. Some people don't care. Um, some people are curious. Um, and um, our responses to perplexity are um, really. Um, impacts the whole of our, our year really and, and, and the difficulties. So what I want us to do this morning is to, um, we're just going to think of a time, you don't need to read it all, I think I might just, but I, I've left it up so you know where we're going. Um, I'd just like you to, to close your eyes and think of a time when God closed, turned things around, okay, when God's perspective changed how you saw a situation. Okay, and close your eyes. I don't want you to make a list. You can turn the uh, videos off. It's quite a good discipline for this bit, I think. And I'll try and... I can't turn mine off, but... I can't work out where it is on my screen. I'll, I'll, I'll disappear me for a minute so you can focus. So close your eyes and think, when did God turn a situation around? When did God's perspective change the situation? And thank God for that. <laughs> mm. I remember when he provided us a car. <laughs> I remember when we couldn't have children. 
Well, we were struggling. It wasn't a medical thing, but we were struggling. Just random things that come to mind for me. Go back and relive the moment in your mind when God showed up. And just bring that to mind and thank God for what happened. And who was there and who was with you? Are there people that you're thankful for now and just you want to bless? Is there some pain from that memory and you want to give that to God? My memory of the person's not still not with us anymore. I'm still very grateful. Now ask God to show you something about that time, that situation, and see what comes to mind. Now, does it feel like this? the whole of this is in the past, or does it feel like God is now with you in the present? Now spend some time with the Lord. Maybe you want to name a, a situation to him. Maybe you want to ask him to show you something. Maybe God wants you to, sh to show you something about how he loves you. And now spend some time in thanks for, for the memory, for the time now, for if God's shown you something, thank him for that. Now often we stop asking for God's insight too early. So let's ask him again, is there anything you want to show me, Lord? Uh, giving me some insight something that I'd never seen before and I wonder about you now in your choir we the always think that that scripture says some hundred enter his gates with thanksgiving which we've done and enter his courts with praise so we, thanksgiving is, is thanking God for something, praise is acknowledging God for who he is. So let's finish this time again in quiet of praise. just spend a minute praising God as we draw this section to a close in a moment. And we're going to hold stillness for a minute and then for the extroverts you can break out. So, And we're going to share five words that describe when God changed something. That enables us to go around the group for the second half of the time.
might be 10 words in the end. For me, it's a, um, a thing, it was a movement from obedience and, then, and God sending someone and then obedience and God sending someone to help us or give insight. And that happened 20 years, no, I guess, yeah, over 20 years ago, 96. And I see that happening now. And that's what the Lord kind of brought to my mind. And I hope for you it's something completely different. <laughs> so let's hold the stillness for a minute and then we'll, we'll share around the group. And um, if you've got nothing, you can just say, oh, meandering mind, you know, I was daydreaming. And that's okay. There's no shame in this exercise. That's completely okay. So I'll give you a minute and then as a sign that we, we're ready, we'll come bring our cameras back on. I'm going to pause me there and just hold that. Uh, for me, as I, as I was part of that and I went through the exercise, I have a, have a deeper experience of God. I actually sense God with me at this particular time. Um, and I wonder what that was for you. If you have, a, if you did have an experience, or you did notice something, or something's go, go on, it, it's a good thing to um, journal that. If you're doing that in a group, it really works because what happens is by by sharing five words, but also offering non-shame, um, it means that someone can just do this. You know, they were distracted on Zoom, or, or their head was somewhere else, or a postman came, or. And it, and it or it didn't work, you know, or, or you know, they never had an experience of God. Often we have staff team, so I, they will have. So if it wasn't staff team, I would offer a different journey for, um, uh, around the experience of God. Uh, and then we went around the group, and it just um, it brings a group together. Five words is really interesting because it's enough to it forces. Why do we do that? It forces people to think and summarize, and it also keeps it tight. No, we had 10 people and we could do that in a few minutes. Whereas if we just said share, someone could talk for, for a long time. And actually if someone is over talking, I can go, thank you. And, and, and um, that's our five words, I think. And we can just move on and everyone's um, quite happy with that. And uh, so I wonder um, for you, what was today? What was this about? What was the heart of what you've just gone through now? And I'm going to pray for us and pray for the Lord's blessing on you. And then I'll see you next week. So, Lord, we pray that you help us to discern our heart and your heart. Lord, as we jot down and as we reflect, we thank you for the God who loves us. You're the God who's with us. You're the God who delights to be with us through all that we go through. Lord, we see through a glass darkly. Um, we walk around with uh, you know as the suffering christ but we know there's resurrection and we know there's insight from you both eternally and now and we pray for your insight now with the hope that we understand all in eternity so bless us as we go from now in jesus name amen so folks it's been uh, great to have you with us thank you for giving me um your time and i pray uh, yeah, for the Lord's blessing, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye.